Thank you all so much for stopping by today. So we can't go outside in the garden, although we got lots of work to do. I am going to stay on the front porch. I wanna do a little garden maintenance on the front porch. I wanna show you how I'm going to take one plant and make it into four. And then I also want you to stick around to the end because I got something that is gonna go on the front porch that I think is gonna be a beautiful, a calming and a relaxing addition once we start sitting out on the porch. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so let me tell y'all this really, really quick. Like you have to be careful with this weather because the other day it was almost 80 degrees and now it's like 49 and it is chilly. It's very chilly out here, but I'm gonna turn the camera around before I show you the plant that we're going to kind of make into four. It came as one because y'all, I want you to see the forsythias that are starting to bloom. And then um, also, I want you to see the um, the pansies that are really starting to take form. Now, probably in the next month or two, we're gonna switch out our containers. I'll make sure that I link that container video because these have been here um, just for the fall and the winter. And we're about to get ready to go into spring in a few more weeks. Um, and so I just want y'all to see that. So let me turn the camera around really quick and show you these forsythias because they are so beautiful and colorful. Like it's just like pops into spring. So it is raining and I can't get like up close to it. Um, but do y'all see it? So it's like two that are right here. And then I'm gonna move the camera around because I think, yeah, these are part of our property because it's within that white fence line, but they did like one Arborvita, one uh, for Scythia. So they went all the way down like that, if you can see it. Um, but those two like in the back, in the very back, those are not ours. Those are like on the other property, I think. Um, I know Chris said that eventually he's gonna get like a survey done just, just to make sure, but I thought this, this was really pretty. And the statue, I don't know if I'm gonna leave it there or not. I may move it elsewhere, but um, I can't show you, I can show you a little bit of this camellia. I actually put it on YouTube to where Chris wanted to take these out. And I was like, do you not see the beautiful pink blooms on here? And what we're gonna do, I told him, I said, we can trim it up um, once it gets a little bit warmer, but we will not be taking this out. I mean, it's just so many beautiful blooms that are on here and it's even more on the other side. Let's see if we can walk around there. If they're still there, yeah. Look, this side is really pretty, y'all. Do y'all see them? It's just like really pretty. Um, and it's a great addition and they bloom like in the winter and uh, early spring. So when you're looking for some color and you're ready for spring, just seeing these bloom, know that spring is on the way. And then this pear tree right here, it is starting to uh, bud out as well. So we'll see about that one because this one, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's walk around here so I can stay focused on what I am doing today. So y'all, I am loving the way this front porch is looking. And again, stick around, cause I wanna show you um, what we're gonna add. I think, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a beautiful addition because when I saw it, and I'll give y'all the story behind it once I put it together, I kept walking by it. And a lot of times if things like really keep, just like if I keep walking by stuff because I want it and then I'm like, ooh, do I need it? But this one just, I mean, I walked all the way around the store like two or three times and I'm like, you know what, I, I'm not gonna leave it. I'm gonna take it home with me. And I'm glad I did because when I went back, it was only two left. But uh, the cyclamen is doing really good and it's putting on new blooms. And let me get this weed out here. Uh, so we're just gonna water these up. But this is what I really wanted to show y'all. They are coming out so pretty. Now this creeping Jenny that's in here, it's gonna come back if you can see a little bit of new growth. So I'm just gonna trim that up. Same with here, but just look at these blooms right here. Still contemplating what I want to actually 
put in these containers, but these have done well over the fall, the winter, into the early spring. And then this is where we're gonna put some of our new plants that we're gonna divide. We're gonna put it on this rack and I'm probably gonna move it over because I will need to access the um, outlet that's down here. So I just wanted to show y'all that real good from this uh, view right here, but I absolutely just, I love the way it's coming together. I still have a few more additions that I want to put on here, but this is a great start. So let me show you what we're going to take one of and make them into four, and then we're gonna get them planted because this plant is actually, uh, they're starting to make them now to where they're either um, part shade or part sun, and some are full sun, but this area um, gets morning sun, so I think it'll do really great right here because I always consider it more of a shade plant than anything. So I'll sit it right here for now, but these are begonias. And again, I've always known them to be more of a shade, partial set shade, um, where they don't like full, like full sunlight. And so I saw these at Costco, y'all, and where I'm at in Georgia, they were $13.99. But, you know, I'm always thinking, it's very pretty, it's very full, but I said to myself, you know what? Like I was all in the, I was all up in here. I'm like, these are technically, these are technically four plants. So what I'm gonna do very carefully, very carefully, I just wanted y'all to see it. Very carefully, I'm gonna lift it out of these pots and I'm gonna make those four plants um, from a $13.99 plant that is a whole. So I know I have an extra, I do have one extra pot. I will go find three more and I'm just gonna place them around um, the front porch. Okay, I'm not gonna start thinking because I'm starting to think about maybe I should put it in this pot, but no, I think I'm just gonna do them individually and we're gonna definitely use this one this pot right here so i'll get that and we're just gonna put i might put two in here just so it'll be full versus one in the middle i think that's what i'm gonna do and so then i will find two more i'll find two more pots and we will pot them in here as well yeah i think that will be really pretty down there and i'll show you all again make sure you stick around what i got because i'm gonna put it together by myself. I'm going to put it together by myself and hopefully I will not need Chris's help because he does not know that I've gotten this. He's walked by the box like every day in the garage, but I don't think he realizes what it is. Now y'all know the last time I've tried to put something together, I did need his help, but I'm going to be, um, I'm going to read the directions very good. I don't think it should be too hard. Um, so just stick around to the end. Let me get these potted up and then I'll also show y'all what I got and we'll see how it all comes together. Okay, so really quick while I'm finishing up because we got two planted, but basically what I'm doing y'all is I'm just taking um, my hand trowel and I'm splitting them, but I'm being careful not to really disturb the roots and then just lifting them up if you can see. And so I found uh, one pot. I still got to find one more and then I'll show you all everything on how we split these up and made four new plants. Okay, y'all. So I was able to finish. Now I still might go back and move things around a little bit, but I was able to at least get the four plants separated into pots and I'll show you. And I'll also show you what I put together. Um, I was about to take a break and wrap it up for today, but I said, no, you've been trying to get this done for three days. It is getting colder out here, hence the hat. Um, I still need to change my flag out. And then I also, I just might, um, what was I going to say, y'all? I don't know. Oh, I still might move some things around. Um, it's not, I'm just placing them, but just depending on as I walk up or as I come outside, like I still may rearrange some things. So let me share, let me turn the camera around and share with you the four plants. And then I also wanna show y'all what I put together myself. It said 10 minutes, now it took me a little bit longer than 10 minutes. And when I start taking out the pot, uh, when I start taking out the parts, I was like, 
uh-uh, I'm going to wait for Chris to get here. But then I had to have a pep talk with myself and say, stop. Stop acting like that because you know you can put this together. And it really was not hard, y'all. I, I just like to look at the book, take out the parts, make sure they're there, read over it once, read over it twice. But seriously, it was not hard at all. And I'll show you. Um, you may can hear it. But I'll show it to you. But let me show you the plants first. Okay, so again, y'all remember we started out with a one pot in my mind had four plants. Now, I separated them very carefully with my um, garden shovel, the, the small one, the hand trowel. And so we got one right here. So this is one. And I like this one over here. Okay, then I got this pot. This is the one I might move right here. Don't know where I will keep it. Um, but this is number two. And then remember I told you with the other pot that we were gonna put two together. And here's the thing, y'all. When you first plant things, they look so sparse to me. But I know that the leaves are gonna get bigger and they'll start to grow together. But as I walk over there, I also want you to spot what we have in the corner. Are flowers number three and four and I kind of put them like on the end of each other but again the leaves are gonna get bigger and they'll grow together these are begonias and um, they like part shade um, plants they can tolerate that this gets morning Sun and so we're gonna let them grow right here and again with the ones that I separated because I separated them y'all um, I'm going to watch them just to make sure they're getting used to this area right here because this is a new area for them on the porch. But let's talk about the fountain that I found. Okay, so I did just plug it back up and it does flow, but I'm giving it time to uh, just start. But y'all, this was at Costco and I walked by two times. I talked to a lady about it. We were both thinking, oh, it's so beautiful. I went around, got what I needed in the store, walked around again. I think about the sixth time, I was like, if it's on your heart like this, go, just go ahead and get it. Just go ahead and get it and bring it home with you because it's pretty. And I love the sound of it and it's different. So the thing with this is I'm still, um, I still have to order a bench that goes right here. So the bench is gonna go right here and it's to match the two rocking chairs. And then other than plants, I think we're going to just leave the porch alone. Other than plants, I think that'll be it with the decor. We still have to change the lights out and then the wood is on the other side. So I won't be doing too much with that um, just because that's where the wood is stored. But I'm super pleased with this. Um, it's amazing, I love it. I absolutely just positively love this and I'm going to enjoy sitting outside hearing the sound of this fountain right here. I love the sounds of fountains and the sounds of water anyway, um, so I will really enjoy this. I think the only thing that I really wish it probably would have y'all is light. So in the store, the way the lights was, it looks like this was like lighting up, but it doesn't. I guess. If the sun shines on it in the morning, it'll look like light. But that's the only drawback is I really wish that it would have a light on so that when we're out here at night, uh, it would light up. But that's okay. I'll still listen to the sound. And actually my wind chime right here, um, it does light up at night. So it's solar power. So we'll just let that do. And so now, since I didn't want to make a big mess, I'm going to go ahead and water these plants right here. Um, I've already watered the begonias in, so we're just gonna sit back and watch it grow as we get ready to welcome spring. Now, if it goes below 32, which I hope it doesn't, I've been checking the weather, then I will probably just bring them in um, because begonias, um, they don't tolerate a whole bunch of really, really cold weather. 
so we'll just keep our eye on it right here but i'm just going to turn the camera around again so you got two right here you have one that is over here so that makes three and this one makes four. So for $13.99 and I was able to split it into four, I think that's awesome. And I also also think about like other people. So say for instance, you're splitting them, you can give these away as gifts as well and brighten up somebody's day. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to get back inside. So as always, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you share this video with your family and your friends. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead, tap the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.